is. These, these hoes couldn't test me, even if the name was Pop Quiz. Mad bitches who I fuck with. Mad bitches we don't fuck with. Welcome back to another video. So, ugh. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my maintenance on my synthetic wigs. Um, I've been wearing this wig for a month and you have to have to know how to maintain your wigs like if you want to get wear out of it and you want to get a good wear for your money's worth you have to know how to take care of your wigs so that's why i'm here um this is the same gianni wig i just have it in a ponytail i didn't do nothing to it all i did was make sure that it was on my head and i'm just going to show you guys step by step how I transformed this wig because right now this wig is not cute. Okay, so the first thing that I do when I'm trying to get my hair from looking like this tangling matted mess, right? Is um is to detangle it dry and to use your fingers. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll be right back. I probably should have did this at night so you guys can really see it because. I feel like the lighting is just like doing too much for me right now. But I'm going to detangle it. Uh, let me show you guys how it looks right now. Mm -hmm. Let me get out the light. It's just like I've had it in a ponytail for a couple of days, so it's kind of just a tangling, matted mess. Um, $40 what you expect and with this let me go ahead and say right now you're going to get a lot of shedding and that is the key you want to shed the wig of all the dead hair so right now this is all I got so far but we not done yet hair. and get all of the dead hair off just kind of pulling it down in a downward position you get to the point where you can just do like this and it goes all the way through then you're pretty much okay and when you're not getting any more shedding of the hair then you're pretty much done what you need to do so, so I've completely did this side with detangling it and you see how just with me Taking all that dead hair off is starting to look way, 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 way better. So yes, like I said, I want you are able to run your fingers through it. It's pretty much to the point where you need it for the next step. Step one is detangle. For this next step, you're gonna need a water bottle. It don't matter. What kind of water bottle you don't gotta have a fancy one just any type of water bottle because you're gonna have to get this hair kind of wet um you don't have to get it drenching wet i feel like if you're gonna drench it you might as well just wash it after this but this is just the process for on your head i already have a video on my channel for how you can bring your wig back to life so yes just Get it as wet as you think the hair needs. Um, some wigs, you might not want to wet too much. But if it's dry, wet it. Water not going to kill it. As like you see, I don't have any conditioner because I find like with synthetic hair, when you use product on it, that's when you kind of fuck it up. So just a little water. And you could add a little bit of conditioner, but I'm talking about the little bit of it. And you see how just doing that it made a big difference from when we started here so now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and I'll be back <laughs> We want you guys to see just how detangling it 
and put in a little bit of water really made a difference. Flowy now before it would girl girl got a whole new wig stop playing me the comments okay so all right and this is how much hair i ended up shedding i know it's a lot but listen if you want to get aware out of your synthetic wig you're gonna have to do this this because i've learned that you cannot just oh here comes some more hair but I've learned that you cannot just wear these wigs and think, oh, I'm going to be Beyonce at the end of the day. No, you won't be Beyonce, okay? So, this is how it's looking now. And for the last step, I'm just going to show you how you can steal your ends because sometimes after you do this, your ends still look a little dry. Not too, too dry, but... They still look, they could look better than this. Um, a big rule with synthetic wigs is when it's dry, detangle it. When it's wet, don't touch it. So you see how wet and I just haven't touched it. Um, that's what you want to do. I know it's hard, so it may be better to just do it and put it on your wig head, but do not touch or run your fingers through this hair while it's wet because it's going to get big and you will be like well the girl right there on youtube said no i said detangle then wet it yeah you can run your fingers through it like as you're wetting it because it's wet but as it's drying do not I repeat do not run your hands through this hair I get the longer pieces in the back and they already kind of wet, but you can re-wet it again if you like. Um, I'm gonna do it section by section just so I can show you guys a little something. So take your section, make sure it's detangled. I know it's hair everywhere. Wet it a little bit. You're going to run your fingers down it in a like downward motion to kind of get those curls to kind of come back. And then what I kind of put in a little bit of pressure that kind of makes the curl kind of pop back. But being that this wig is almost two months old, um, all I'm going to do now is twist it. So, right now I'm just twisting it, twisting it, twisting it, twisting it. And I really don't do the whole thing. I only just do the end. But for these video purposes, I'm going to do this whole thing. Because it's only like two sections. So, it's not going to kill me to twist this whole thing. But the main thing about this is just to kind of reform the curl. Because you know... With synthetic wigs, it can look a little frizzy. Like, it's just because the hair needs hydration. Like, see how I did put the water on it, but being that these are the ends, this is the longest part of my hair. Yeah, this part is going to be flowy, but this part is still going to be kind of stiff because it's dry. Okay, so I timed my edit time for a couple minutes and, you know, we're going to keep it pushing. But, I want you guys to see the final results of the hair. 
Um, I'm gonna leave my little twist in because I'm about to go somewhere and I'll take them out in the car. But I hope you guys can really see the difference in the hair. Um, it looks way, 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 way better. Um, even the ends look nice, chill. And yes, that is how you maintain your synthetic wigs. If you wear them like a lot like me, or just wear wigs period, that's how you maintain your synthetic wig. Um, it's not stiff no more. Oh, one more quick thing before I go. So, another thing I found that really helps curly or wavy synthetic wigs is nighttime maintenance. So, don't go to sleep in this wig like this. The way I do my wig at night, I'm about to show you guys right now. So I just take it like this, wrap it around like this, and then I just put on my bonnet and go to bed. Because nine out of 10, it's helping the curls stay in place. So in the morning, I just take it out, I kind of fluff the curls out a little bit, and then I'm ready to go easy and so first you're going to detangle your hair get all that dead hair off of it off your wig then you're going to wet it make sure that your curls are back popping for the ends you're going to twist your ends and but yeah if you try this method just go ahead and shout your girl out let your girl get your girl a little credit a little credit i know with youtube everybody still everybody shit but you hear you get what I'm saying. If you try this, just comment down below and let me know if it worked for you. And thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you babies in my next one.